morning. Happy Vlogmas day 12. Oh, it's my cousin's birthday. I should text her. Anywho, I always do a little updated get ready with me every year during Vlogmas. So I figured today was the day. So the first thing I do is use the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I'm running out of this bottle. I have a new bottle, but want to get every last drop of that one out of there. Just pop on that all over my face it creates a nice little base i think i would use this primer for literally ever if i could um i've been using it forever and i just love it. when i go in with a concealer i use the maybelline instant age rewind eraser um and i just pop that under my eyes in the shape of a triangle i know there's been like new revelations on how you should apply your concealer some people just do the inside and the outside i don't really know I make a little triangle and then I put a little dabby dab on my nose. I feel like something that shocks people is that I don't use foundation. I just, I don't feel the need to. Um, I've always been really blessed not to have a lot of acne. Knock on freaking wood. Um, so I just go in with the NYX Wonder Stick uh, Dual Ended Face Shaping Stick and I use the contour and I just kind of pop it. And those like little contour spots um you know those spots you know we go like the cheekbone the forehead not that I like, really need to contour my forehead because I have bangs so like it just covers it right up but the jawline and we do a little drop down each side of the nose and then we just go in with our beauty blender and we blend the crap out of it wet beauty blender you want to wet your beauty blender otherwise it's gross once my contour is all blended in i go ahead and i use an elf brush um just a little buffy brush and i brush buff out my concealer then i go ahead and i set my under eyes i use the tarte shape tape setting powder like the loose one and i take kind of a i take a brush like this and I just get powder on it and kind of just drop it under my eyes, almost like I'm baking. I mean, I think this is baking. Starting with my eyebrows, I don't even remember the last time I got my eyebrows done. I'm like so bad, but I use the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Um, I use the brow part, but if I run out of the brow part, I'll use the lash side and I don't really care. I just brush upwards and then like off to the side it just cleans them up a little bit because like I said I don't remember the last time I even got my eyebrows done I think it was over the summer um it's just like an inconvenience like I just don't want to go do it and like it really takes like 15 minutes to go but I just don't want to go so I just deal with my brows being a little bit messy this is everyone's favorite primer. It's been everyone's favorite primer for forever, but it is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So I'll drop that on my eyelids and then blend that on in. Eyeshadow really depends, but I usually use some version of the Urban Decay Naked Palettes. Um, I'm obsessed. I've been obsessed since I started doing my makeup in the seventh grade. I still have the original Naked Palette. And I've got a lot of Naked Palettes, but I just recently got the Urban Decay Metal Mania. So that's what I've been using lately. Um, it is so stinking gorgeous. Like this is insane. I'm obsessed. Um, but I've been using like the first three colors and then Spike Stud, which is the kind of um, bigger pop of color. So I'll pop double kick above like my contour sound tower in my crease studio in the outer corner and then spike stud on the lid she looks cute if i can say so myself so we're gonna go in now with our bronzer i use hula by benefit there is slowly slowly gonna be nothing left in this but i'm gonna use every last stop even though i have more in my cabinet and we're just gonna pop this on over the contour that we've already done with our contour stick just going in circular motions we're blending it out then we're gonna go in 
with our blush. This is the Rockator blush by Benefit. We're gonna pop this on our cheekbones and bring it kind of up and pop it in the middle of our nose. Then we gotta take our big fluffy brush and brush away our baking. And finally, a step that I skipped for a really long time, but I'm done skipping it because I think it makes a difference and I think it works. Going back in with our little NYX stick and using the highlighter end and we dab that on our nose and up on our cheekbones. I go through faces with highlighter. I wasn't in a highlighter face and now I'm back in the highlighter face. And the thing is, I just make, think it makes such a difference in the way that your skin looks and the way your makeup looks and I think it's something that you shouldn't skip. But I skip it all the time. But now I'm glowy and happy. Now that that's all done, we're gonna go ahead. Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. We use this religiously. Spray that all on, and while it is still drying, we'll go in with our mascara. Recently, we have been using the Maybelline Waterproof The Falsy Surreal. I did not realize about waterproof mascara, and that is why it's been so hard to get it off lately. And now that we're done with that, we're just gonna go ahead with the Fruit Kiss Caring Lip Balm by Essence. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just a dupe for the Maybelline Baby Lips, but I couldn't find the Maybelline Baby Lips I wanted. So I just got this Essence one, and it does the same exact thing. And if we're feeling really rebellious, we'll go in with the Essence Juicy Balm Lip Gloss. And this is the aftermath of my counter because everything always goes back in this bag because I get ready at work two mornings a week. So why would I keep things in my drawer when I have to, you know, pack it up twice a week? All right, I was feeling a little bun moment today. I used a little claw clip for everything, so that's so cute. Um, I also just put these earrings in. Um, these are actually the earrings that I got the weekend I competed at Miss New York. This sweater is also so freaking comfy. I just got it at TJ Maxx and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Um, so that's the little fit for the day. I really need someone to create a drive through bagel shop and franchise it out because that's what I want all the time. Like I hate the fact that when I want a bagel, I have to go into the bagel place order my bagel wait for it like it's just annoying and I don't like it I don't know I was sitting in my apartment I couldn't figure out what I wanted for breakfast and I decided that I wanted a bagel so that's what I'm gonna do but it's like so annoying that I have to like drive somewhere and then get out of my car and then go in and then order like it's just a hassle I'm trying a new bagel shop today because I was down further in Wappingers than I normally go to um, so I could go to the bank so this is bagel world Today when I go home, I'm going to pick up my book and I'm gonna freaking read it because I need to finish The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I have books that are about to be due on Libby and Eli Rallo's book, Didn't Know I Needed This, came out today. So I need to get the frick out of my reading slump because there's all these books that I wanna read. Um, the best part about my headphones working again is that I can actually listen to music while I'm working again. And I've just been listening to different musical soundtracks like Dear Evan Hansen, Shrek. I'm on Waitress right now. So if you've got any work Broadway soundtracks, let me know. So hey vlog, it's 7.02 p.m. And I have not vlogged all day. But you know what? That's okay. Because Tuesdays are really weird for me because when I get home from work, I just speed kind of get ready because I have to work tomorrow morning at 3.45 so I go to bed at 7.30. So it's like a speed get ready for bed and I had to wash and curl, dry my hair tonight so that like added to what was going on. That being said, work was also really busy today. We have our Jingle Bowl kind of bowling event on Saturday so we've been prepping for that all week and like we were really in the nitty gritty of like getting all the prizes together today. So that's why that took so long. Anyway, that being said, it's 7.03 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog for today, but I'll talk to you guys in the next one. <laughs>